Hi guys, welcome, welcome to my video diary. Uh, day 29, I think, I think it's day 29. I'm always like a day short, like a day behind um, because I forget like which, which one I'm on. Let's push, ooh, ooh please do not fall. <laughs> I, can, ooh, I cannot afford a broken phone. Let's make sure you're not gonna fall. Oh, come on. Sorry, guys. I should have. My tripod is so finicky. I think it'll be good. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> um, we're almost done with the 30-day challenge. This, If this is 29, then we just have tomorrow. Um, I'm going to continue the video diaries. It may not be every day. I've noticed that I find it so much easier to film video diaries weekdays. Um, so, like, my my day job days, weekdays, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, um, uh, and probably in Fridays, but weekdays are like the easiest for me. The weekends when my husband's home um, are a little bit harder because <clears throat> I have my own routine with my husband in the morning. I We like to make breakfast and have coffee and stuff. So um, I know he doesn't mind being in my videos, so I'm sure there will be a couple videos with him in them coming up soon. Um, we were supposed to do a combined advice video and then I was never able to film it with him because we had other stuff that came up and it just was not, we weren't just, we weren't gonna fit it in our schedule. And I didn't wanna bombard him with like too many things to do because he already has a lot of things to do when he comes home. So um, I didn't wanna bug him with anything else. <laughs> So, um, I want to talk about spirit today. <laughs> um, so it was brought to my attention this morning. I received a text message from one of my friends and they were watching one of my, um, videos, one, one of the, the weekly reading, the weekly energy reading that I just put up and, um, she took a 10 second video clip of it, luckily. So I had, I saved it and I posted it on my Instagram. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see the post in my stories, but if not, maybe I can get fancy and insert it right here. <laughs> and, and so I feel like my fire signs are really feeling pumped for it, but some of you guys are going to start seeing a little bit of roadblocks in the way. So this is just a fair warning for you. This week. <laughs> so, um, basically there is an orb that flies through my chest area well not through me but like across the chest area um and so it's really cool because this is the second orb that has been pointed out to me um since i've started doing these video diaries um i have a lot of you guys watching my video diaries i don't know if you guys watch the whole thing through i know my video diaries can be quite long <laughs> Like 45 minutes was one of them, I think. <laughs> but if you watch the entire thing or if you're at least listening to it while you're doing other things, thank you for being, you know, a dedicated YouTuber, subscriber of my channel. <laughs> um, but um, so yeah, I guess because you guys catch it, like you see them, you're watching the videos. So this was the second orb that was pointed out to me. There was actually a third orb in one of my other video diary videos um, that I caught myself, but I didn't cut the, you know how you can cut the video, like edit it and stuff. I didn't cut it to point it out and I can't remember which one it is because now there's been so many. Um, but it was one of those where I was like, oh, what was that? And then like I, I rewound it and I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And then like later on, I got another one pointed out and then this one today. So. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about, I'm really excited about the idea of orbs, um, being around me. I guess it's kind of an exciting feeling. I, <laughs> anybody that's into the paranormal and into this kind of stuff would probably get excited over it. Whereas other people would probably freak out. <laughs> when I showed my husband, um, I showed him the first video that someone pointed out. He was like, what did you bring in our house? <laughs> And I told him, I was like, you know, these are around all the time, right? It's just like, it's just sometimes you catch them and sometimes you don't. And so um, I sent him the video clip of this next one that I, that was pointed out to me and we'll see what he says. But, um, but yeah, so the orbs are in my, from my understanding, um, orb is spirit. Okay. Now there can be different color orbs. Um, and I guess the colored ones are more rare. 
Um, but I was reading up on the colored ones because the same friend that sent me the video clip of myself with the orb flying across my chest, um, she had mentioned of seeing an orb one time around her husband and that it was blue. And so I was curious about that because the orbs that I've been seeing on my videos have been white, um, which is the most common orb that you can see. Um, are the white ones or like the translucent, semi, semi translucent that like they kind of, sorry, my bra straps are like, they're all twisted. <laughs> you know, like when your bra strap gets twisted, it just like hurts. Um, I got a new bra the other day. I know this is going off on a tangent, sorry, but I got a new bra the other day because I really liked that skull and flower one that I got from Torrid. So I went and I picked up another one and it's more it's like a nude, it's a nude bra, and so I really like it, and um, yeah, but the straps were digging into my shoulders, so, and I'm trying to break it in, like, you know, girls, you know, when you're wearing, like, the first bra, the, that bra for, like, the first day or two, you gotta break it in, because it's, like, like, it's the, probably the best, the best lift, and the best, you know, everything, the first time you wear it, but you also gotta break it in, because it's just so stiff and like yeah <clears throat> so that's how I feel anyways um so she was telling me about the orb and that it was blue and so I looked at I looked it up because I was curious and um blue orbs are sensed or are, are said to be spirit guides and I've always thought that the blue or like even red or any of the colored orbs I've always heard of it being um um archangels like angels um, but I don't know. I don't know how accurate that is and I don't know like how do you know? Unless you're really like connecting, you know what I mean? I don't know. I guess it's just based on like what you feel it could be <laughs> But um, I'm assuming that the orbs in my home is just Spirit and I feel like there's been I mean because I've been doing videos for a while since 2014 I think um, and I've never had an orb pointed out to me by any of you guys watching. So I don't think I've really had much of that happen, um, but the fact that they've been very visible in this house, which is, I'm, I've been living in here for, and we're going on 10 months, um, but the house itself is fairly new. Like it's, it's new, it's, it's fairly new. It was, it's what, 12 years old? Is this house 12 years old? It was, it was born, it was born. This house was built in 2006. So yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, 13 years old. So this house is 13 years old. Um, and so I guess it's like semi-new. I mean, that's that's pretty new compared to like other houses, but yeah, 13, 13 years. I think it was 2006. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> um, but I always thought that to have like a haunted house, which I'm not saying this house is haunted, but to have a haunted house or to have like spirit in the house, it has to be like some old historical house, which I'm sure obviously those would be teeming with spirit energy because of the amount of people and energies and, and years that have, you know, gone by with that home. But any home, it doesn't matter how old it is, can have spirit in it because spirit is everywhere. Um, and so I have learned that <laughs> just because my house is semi new doesn't mean that it doesn't have spirit in it like it can and these orb sightings are kind of cool um it excites me it makes me interested and it makes me want to learn more about the spirits that are inhabiting my home <laughs> or spirits that are around me um i think we always think that the spirits around us are our past loved ones and you know there are people like grandma grandpa or whatever and you know it's nice to think that and and for the most part it's it's so much true but you also have from what i've heard and read and been told um spirit is everywhere and sometimes you can have a curious spirit piggyback off of you or you can pick one up when you're like traveling <laughs> um and then also if spirit knows that you're a sensitive like you're if that if they if they know that you have the ability to connect with them and you can hear them and you can spread their messages um and associate with them because i'm pretty sure it would be quite lonely if you were a spirit and you try to contact people 
and you don't get anything back you know what I mean so I feel like when you when you find that person that is a medium um, they would be all over the place and so <clears throat> um, my mediumship abilities are there but they are very much still being developed um, and so I practice and ever and I feel like every single time I do a reading I'm practicing my mediumship I'm practicing my ability to channel I'm practicing my connection with my connection with spirit yesterday I just did a seance reading I call it a seance reading but it's basically me connecting with spirit in my own way um, but for the fancy name, I called it a seance, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so I did a reading for a client yesterday and I keep those readings private so I don't post them public for you guys to see because of the sensitive nature for the client. Um, and because also I like to use the direct names um, that the client gives me for the spirit that we're you know connecting with and whatnot. And I just feel like that's too intimate to post public for people to see. Um, and so I chose not to, um, make that video available for you guys to see. So I sent it off to my client and um, I'm hoping that it's, you know, it's something that they enjoy. Um, but it was a really good reading, I feel, I, at least I felt from my end. <laughs> um, but I feel like, I feel like because I'm a, as, as being a, being a tarot reader, <laughs> being a tarot reader, being somebody who connects with my higher self, I meditate, I am constantly involved with my intuition and I'm trusting it and I have that sixth sense and, and I'm utilizing, you know, the third eye and all of that good, good stuff. Um, and then just, just the type of person that I am, my interests and whatnot, it doesn't surprise me that spirit would be um, manifesting itself in my home <laughs> and I'm completely okay with it as long as um, you know as long as it's nice and as long as it gets along with the fur babies like my little Luna over there um, I have noticed like Luna sees spirit I know Luna sees spirit but Starla definitely does and there has been many 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 times where Starla is looking around like you know she's looking at something and sometimes it's a bug yes I'll admit it sometimes it is a bug but there is times where she's looking around and there ain't nothing there ain't no bug around there's nothing flying around or you know or she's just kind of like like Luna will get hooked on a corner of the room she's done that a couple times and it kind of spooked my husband a little bit he was like mm. I don't know if I like that and I'm like they just they see things and, and I don't know how the cats are seeing spirit maybe they see the actual apparition but I think that if Luna was seeing like an actual person she would probably freak out because Luna doesn't like when I have guests over like she only likes me and my husband so I don't think Luna sees apparitions like full body figures because then I think she would be running like hiding all the time um, but I do think that they see something um, and I do feel like cats are very sensitive to the spirit realm. Um, I feel like any animal is for the most part. Um, but um, I definitely, I definitely feel cats have that, that connection with spirit. Um, and so pay attention to your pets. <laughs> like if you ever notice your pets looking around like, and you don't see anything, but they clearly do, you know, chances are they're seeing spirit. They're just seeing it manifested. So um, my experiences with spirit, like with ghosts, I don't like that term because I feel like ghost is such a like, I just feel like it's so low vibe and it's kind of like calling, calling them a name, you know, like spirit to me sounds so gentle, whereas a ghost is like, it just sounds so rude, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but for the sake of the video and people not really understanding the differences and stuff, I will say ghost. Um, but when you, or spirit, if, you, if I say spirit, that's what I mean. Spirit, ghosts, shadow figures, all of the above, okay? Um, so when I, like some of my experiences with physically seeing spirit are very minimal. I don't see them physically. Um, I see them in my mind's eye or it comes as like a, a like a, it, when I see it in my mind's eye, it comes as if like it's a memory or like I'm seeing a snapshot or like a like a, I'm seeing a, a piece of a, of a movie being played. I don't know if that makes sense. I think those of you guys who connect that way will understand. Um, but <laughs> I do have, and I do, and I have had experiences where I see something off the corner of my eye enough to where it makes me look like I look to see what was that. 
Um, I've also had times where I'm driving and in my mind's eye, I will see, you know, something there, but it's not physically there. It's in my mind, but as I'm driving, I see it. Does that make sense? So th that's my experience. That's my, that's the way I connect with spirit. Like that's how I see them. Um, I follow a lot of intuitives. I follow a lot of tarot readers. I follow a lot of mediums. Um, I, I am fascinated by people who have that, that literal connection to seeing spirit. Um, I just think it's beautiful. I think it's, it's a, it is a gift. Um, and it is just something that when you understand it and when you're not afraid of it, it's an amazing, I think it's just an amazing ability. And um, we all have abilities, we all have psychic abilities, we just have to find which one is our strength. And you know, you can develop the other ones, but you will always have that one ability that is just strong within you and it may not be strong with someone else. So for me, um, my ability to feel emotions is the strongest. I've always been the girl feeling everybody else out. I've always been the girl that I can walk into a room and I usually sense when something's up and I can usually pinpoint who it's, who it involves or like um, sometimes I feel like I sometimes I feel like I could pe I could read people's minds. Um, I know that that sounds crazy, but it it does kind of bug me a little bit at times because I feel like I'll know what they're really thinking. But I, but they may not be saying it, you know what I mean? Um, so, <laughs> and it depends on who I'm talking to when I bring that part out because um, I don't wanna offend people, but like I had a very strong feeling one time. Um, and this was like a couple years back. This has nothing to do with any of the current jobs that I'm in, or the job I'm in. But it was a past job that I was in and there was a there was a girl there that worked there and I remember she was you know really upset and I could just tell you know I didn't have to talk to her I just knew something was up um and I just kept like hearing pregnant 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 and like I was just like okay so <laughs> and so I just remember you know talking to her and, and I felt like she was like she was sharing with me everything but the one thing that was bothering her and so I just kind of brought it up you know her and i had that friendship where it was like it wasn't it wouldn't it was it wasn't going to be offensive to her to bring something like that up like you you kind of have to gauge what kind of a relationship you have with certain people before you bring up certain topics you know so she was one that we were really cool and open with so i was just like basically you know what girl like is there something wrong with you know have you are you waiting for your period or you know is it something like that and she's like yes and then she just kind of like broke down so <laughs> so it was one of those things where like i sensed it um i, I felt it i heard it and then i acted on it based based on knowing that she would be comfortable with that fact that she, you know i'm not going around telling people like oh this is what i'm thinking is this true like i don't do that <laughs> and i don't condone that either um i feel like when you if you're going to read for somebody or if you're going to share the message to somebody you have to pretty much get their consent um because not everybody wants to be read for and not everybody wants to have their personal space you know um like they don't want you in their personal space basically not everybody wants that not everybody's comfortable with it and not everybody is on board and supportive of psychic abilities or readings or that kind of you know all of that stuff some people just don't they don't want anything to do with it and i think for us to for us who are those of us who are sensitive and like those of us who pass on the messages and stuff we have to honor that we have to honor that that fact is a fact that not everybody wants to be read and not everybody wants to receive those messages so we i think we need to be a little bit more sensitive to that because i feel like sometimes readers get so lost on the um the thrill of passing on a message and we see these tv shows with these mediums who go around passing spirit messages like it's no big deal and um i think we have to remember that not everybody wants to be read um and not everybody wants a, a message from their past loved one so um like i said my mediumship is still developing um I feel like I don't give myself enough credit, but there are times where I'm like, 
I feel good about my mediumship and then there's times where I do doubt it. So <laughs> it's still developing. Um, I feel like I still, I could still like use, like I could, I could benefit from some like mentorship or some classes and stuff. Um, but I just haven't gone down that alley yet. Um, but anyways, spirits and ghosts and orbs and, and all of that, this is the perfect time of year to be witnessing it and to be experiencing these things. We are in the beginning of fall season. So yesterday was literally the first day of fall. Um, and it's really exciting. Um, I was looking at my weather app and it was showing like today it was, it's gonna be warm. But it's showing like by next week it's gonna be in the low 80s, early, or low 80s, high 70s up here in the desert at least. Um, which is exciting because that's cold. <laughs> it gets cold in the desert. Um, when the temperature starts to drop, it does, it gets cold. It's like I said, it's either hot or cold up here. <laughs> um, and so I was, I wore a sweater yesterday, you guys, when I was watering my grass, I was watering my plants, my grass and stuff last, um, last night, like in the evening. Um, I actually threw on a sweater. I was wearing shorts, but I had a sweater on. So typical California outfit for you. <laughs> um, and I was watering my grass and it was like cool enough to have a sweater on, but still, warm enough to wear shorts, if that makes sense. Like when you can't figure out what you wanna wear, so you just kinda wear a little mixture of both, yeah. <laughs> so Starla, be nice. See, she's bad, she's a little bully. I'm hoping she grows out of that. I think she's just like that right now because um, she's a kitten, but she's a, she's a bully to my baby Luna. Starla, that's where they eat. Um, so, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm really enjoying, ugh, gotta get, tuck my little back fat right there. <laughs> um, I'm really enjoying the fact that the weather is changing and this and that, and fall season is the season for the veil is thinning. Like, I'm not even kidding you, you guys. Like, when you hear it, and I'm actually gonna move over to the table because this stool is hurting my ass. <laughs> the stool is hurting my ass. Okay, let me move, let me move my stuff. In my box, <laughs> my sad little setup. Put that there, and let me get my coffee. I don't want to stop the video because ugh, I already have to add that little clip in there if I can remember to do it and know how to do it. I don't know. Okay. My hair is so curly today because <laughs> I just, I literally, I washed my hair, I blow dried it, and then I curled it. Like when I wash my hair, I blow dry it, and then I curl it right after the curls stay. So, yeah, I have weird hair. Anyways, it's all bright with the window. <laughs> um, so the veil is thinning this time of year. You'll hear so many of us say it. I've already heard it being said so many times by all of these different readers. <laughs> It's just a thing and it's the truth. Um, the veil is thinning. It's like spirits are able to come through and connect with us in our earthly realm. Um, it's kind of like you see, it's like the merging of the two, right? Um, and then you get like that sweet honey spot and right in the middle where you can come in and meet spirit in the middle. Um, and so I feel like that's what's happening. That happens every single time this time of year and it's really magical. Um, and I feel like it's also a time when we experience paranormal encounters more. Um, and I feel like that's maybe why the orbs are so much more visible right now <laughs> in my videos than they've been in the past. Or like I said, it could just be the house um, because I haven't had anyone else point anything out before and I've been doing videos for a few years. So I don't know, um, but I love it. So I just, I love it. I love this time of year. This is the time of year to connect with your ancestors. This is the time, I mean, any time is, is good time to connect with your ancestors and your past loved ones. But if you really want to like jump on the bandwagon of it being like really a strong energy for that, then this is the time to do it. Um, so I really love it. I love, um, I love that whole idea. So, um, 
October is only a few days away, literally, um, and I really want to get, I really want to have my little Dia de los Muertos set up, and I think I'm going to put it in the tarot room. I wanted to have it out in, in my living room space, but I can't trust Starla. She is way too involved in everything, um, and I don't trust her, so I think I'm going to have to do my little setup, my altar, in my tarot room so that I could close the door and make sure she doesn't go in there. Um, so I want to, you know, we'll start working on that setup and everything, but um, I just haven't gotten to it. I've been like, I've been so busy with, <laughs> with my husband's stuff, like his graduation and all of that. I just want to get that over and done with. And after the 4th of October, we'll be done. So I just got to get through this last final shebang like it's been quite a journey <laughs> it has been such a journey um but i'm really i'm really really ready for that to be over with like i'm happy for him and i'm excited and yes but it's like seven months is a long fucking time to go through to go through it so i'm so glad it's almost over <laughs> and i do i am aware though that our lifestyle is going to change heavily it will be changing very very much um i'm very much aware of that um, in fact, I have to sit in for a seminar during the week of his graduation um, where they talk to us about the lifestyle and what to expect and how to be a supportive spouse and all of that good stuff. So um, that'll be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also just looking forward to the whole week just being over with so we can just move on with our marriage. <laughs> Um, I, I'm confident with my marriage and him and, and him and our ability to get through anything. Um, we've been together 12 years. We're going on 13 years. Like we have a we have a, a good firm foundation, a good marriage, a good strong connection. And I'm not worried about you know his career path changing and and the kind of career he's he's in now. Um, I'm not worried about it destroying anything. I just feel like, yeah, there's going to be changes that have to, we're going to have to get, I'm going to have to get used to, like his schedule um, and his, the fact that his free time is going to be probably much more limited than it was before. Um, but we've gone through a lot of different things with, with work, like with his other job and crazy schedules and never seeing each other. So I know we can get through this. <laughs> I'm confident we can get through this. And then I'm also confident that while he's doing his thing, I'm going to be doing my thing. And then eventually when I take Cackling Moon full time, I'm really going to be doing my own thing. So I'm just grateful that I have my own like side, like my own life aside from my marriage with him. Um, I think that that really helps to keep the marriage strong is that you guys, you like we have our individual lives along with the one we have together, if that makes sense. So anyways, I don't know why I'm, I, <laughs> I went off on another tangent. I've been doing that. So <laughs> this is 27 minutes. I guess I'll just go ahead and end the video here. Um, it's 1030. I have an hour before I got to leave for work. Oh my God. <laughs> that commute, man. You know, it's not so bad when I have like a really good podcast to listen to, but sometimes I'm just like, fuck. <laughs> Like, I don't want to drive a whole hour before, I sh like all of my other friends, like all my other coworkers, they don't have to leave for work till like 10 minutes before they got to start because they all live so freaking close. And I'm like, I got to leave like an hour and a half before. Like, it fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, anyways, that's just me complaining, but whatever. Um, okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if it was boring. But I do want to hear your ghost stories. I want to hear like your paranormal encounters. And if you're a medium, I want to know how you see spirit. So leave comments below and share your stories and your experiences with me. I'm really curious. I want to hear. I want to know. Um, and if you guys have any questions about anything I talked about, go ahead and leave those below too. And I will get to them when I can. Other than that, I will talk to you guys later.